It looks like OpenAI's new O1 model comes with a serious catch. Ask it too much about how it thinks and you could face an instant ban. So if you want to avoid getting kicked off, steer clear of asking ChatGPT the types of questions I'll be talking about in this video. Meanwhile, it's already revolutionizing enterprise and education, powering through challenges in coding, healthcare, and science with a level of intelligence that leaves human experts stunned. Also, OpenAI is hiring engineers right now to push this model into level three, where AI stops just thinking and starts acting autonomously, taking us closer to a future of AGI and eventually singularity. All right, so as we all know, OpenAI's new O1 model has created quite the buzz, and not just because of the usual AI advancements. This is a shift, a real step up in how artificial intelligence can reason, adapt, and respond to complex challenges. What makes this model stand out is how it handles tasks that require deep, multi-step reasoning, something that previous models struggled with. Think of it as moving beyond simple Q and A style interactions into something closer to human-like problem solving. OpenAI gave it a name that signals a reset of sorts. By calling it O1, they're acknowledging the significance of this leap forward in reasoning capabilities. It's not about branding, but about highlighting the core purpose, taking reasoning in AI to new heights. It's built to spend more time thinking, really processing problems before responding. This gives it the ability to handle more intricate and challenging questions in fields like science, coding, and even math. Now, what's particularly interesting and also a bit controversial is how OpenAI has decided to hide the full reasoning process behind this new model. In previous models like GPT-4, you could actually see a bit of how the AI worked through a problem, but not with O1. The reasoning process, or chain of thought, is mostly hidden from the user, only a filtered version is shown. This isn't just a random decision though, it's part of OpenAI's approach to keep a closer eye on how the model evolves. They want to monitor its growth without revealing too much of how it reaches its conclusions. Some users who've tried to dig deeper into the model's reasoning have even received warnings. For example, one engineer got a notice from OpenAI after asking O1 not to tell me anything about your reasoning trace. The company's explanation for this is that the hidden chain of thought allows them to keep a tighter grip on the model's behavior. It's about making sure that as the model becomes more advanced, it doesn't start doing things that could manipulate users or cause harm. This doesn't come without trade-offs, of course. OpenAI admits that there are some disadvantages to hiding this reasoning process, but they believe the benefits, mainly being able to spot potentially risky behavior, outweigh those downsides. To make up for what users can't see, OpenAI is teaching the O1 model to include the useful parts of its reasoning within the actual answer. So even though users don't get to watch the AI think, they should still get more insightful and well-reasoned responses than with older models. However, probing too much into the model's internal logic isn't going to end well, as some users have already found out. What this model is capable of doing though is where it really starts to stand out. OpenAI has designed O1 to excel at tasks that involve deep reasoning. It's not just responding to simple prompts or handling casual conversations. In initial tests, O1 outperformed previous models in fields like math and coding, scoring 83% on a qualifying exam for the International Mathematics Olympiad. Just for perspective, GPT-4 managed only 13% on the same test. It also performed impressively in coding competitions, ranking in the 89th percentile on Code Forces, a platform that puts programmers through their paces with tough challenges. This level of performance isn't just a marginal improvement, it's a huge leap in how well AI can solve problems. The O1 model is also part of a broader strategy by OpenAI to push AI capabilities through different stages. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman recently explained that AI development can be broken down into five levels. The first level was the introduction of chatbots, like the earlier GPT models. Now, we're at level two, where the AI becomes a reasoner, able to handle complex problem solving. The next stages are even more advanced. Level three will be agents, AI that can work autonomously without user prompts. After that, the fourth level will be AI with the ability to innovate actually discovering new scientific information. And finally, level five, where AI can essentially run entire organizations on its own. The jump from level two to level three isn't expected to take as long as you'd think. 
Altman pointed out that once an AI can reason deeply, it can quickly transition into acting on that reasoning without needing constant guidance. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities, not just for individuals using AI, but for industries that depend on complex decision making. OpenAI is also moving towards something called multi-agent research. They're already putting together a team of engineers to explore how multiple AI agents can collaborate and reason together. This is an area of research that could take AI to even greater heights, enabling it to solve problems that are beyond the reach of a single model working in isolation. Think of multiple AIs brainstorming together, each contributing to a larger solution. The potential here is massive. One of the big areas where this model is expected to have a significant impact is in enterprise settings. OpenAI has already made the O1 model available to all ChatGPT Enterprise and ChatGPT EDU customers, and businesses are lining up to integrate it into their workflows. It's not just about automating simple tasks anymore. The O1 model is being used to solve high stakes, complex problems in industries like finance, healthcare, and advanced research. For instance, a healthcare researcher might use the model to analyze large-scale genomic data, something that would typically take a team of experts much longer to process. The AI, on the other hand, can sift through the data, spot patterns, and even suggest next steps in a fraction of the time. There are already real-world examples of this happening. Dr. Daria Unutmaz, an immunologist, used the O1 preview model to help write a cancer treatment proposal. In less than a minute, the AI had created a framework for the project, complete with creative goals and potential pitfalls. It's the kind of work that would normally take days, if not weeks, for a human researcher to complete. And the AI didn't just spit out generic ideas, it actually contributed new insights that even someone with decades of experience in the field might not have considered. The education sector is also taking note. Universities and research centers, often constrained by time and resources, are turning to the O1 model to speed up their work. Dr. Kyle Cabasaris, an astrophysicist, shared how the O1 preview model accomplished in one hour what had taken him nearly a year during his PhD. This kind of capability isn't just about making things faster. It's allowing researchers and students to push boundaries, innovate, and focus on higher level thinking rather than getting bogged down in the repetitive processes that typically slow down research. Safety remains a top priority with this new model though. OpenAI has built in more advanced safety measures than ever before, ensuring that the AI follows ethical guidelines and doesn't misuse sensitive data. They've introduced a new safety training system that allows the AI to reason through rules and regulations, keeping it on track. And for those worried about privacy, OpenAI has made it clear that customer data isn't being used for training the models. They've also tested the AI's resistance to hacks, or what's known as jailbreaking, where it scored 84 out of 100, compared to GPT-4's 22. In the competitive world of AI, OpenAI's biggest rival right now is Anthropic. Anthropic has its own model called Claude Enterprise, which boasts a 500,000 token context window, more than double what OpenAI's models currently offer. This makes Claude particularly good at handling massive amounts of data. But where OpenAI's O1 model has the upper hand is in deep reasoning and problem solving. In industries where that kind of thinking is critical, O1 could have the long-term advantage. The O1 model is more than just another AI tool. It represents a significant leap forward in what artificial intelligence can do, pushing beyond automation into real problem solving and creative thinking. All right, if you're interested in more deep dives into AI, robotics, and the future of tech, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.